Navy has successfully used its smallest warships as a launchpad for autonomous mine hunting operations for the first time. 7 P-2000 patrol vessels of the Coastal Forces Squadron deployed on NATO's annual Baltic exercise, known as Baltops 24, during which 50 ships, dozens of aircraft and 9,000 personnel from 20 nations operated closely together for the security and safety of the region. 2 ships, HMS Puncher and Pursuer, welcomed aboard experts from Zulu Squadron of the Mine and Threat Exploitation Group and their autonomous craft Azula Squadron are usually responsible for keeping the waterways clear and safe on the Clyde in Scotland through which the UK's Vanguard Strategic Deterrence Submarines operate from their base at Foslane, but they deployed a team of five to Baltops as a trial to see if they could send Expeditionary Mine Hunting Kit on overseas operations, with a view to them being able to do this anywhere in the world on demand in the future, the team brought. With them an Ebear 3 autonomous vehicle, which operates independently, scanning the seabed with its sonar to identify potential mines and a video ray defender remotely operated vehicle which sends a live stream back to the operator to safely find potential mines on the seabed while operating in the Gulf of Riga. In the approaches to Latvia's capital, Zula Squadron surveyed 620,000 square meters of an historic minefield, that's an area more than 40 times the size of the Wembley pitch, in just two days. Many of the Baltic's waterways were mined heavily in both world wars, while ammunition and ordnance was also disposed of after the conflicts had ended, only last year it was reported that 80,000 mines and other unexploded remnants lurk on the seabed, making it a key focus of Allied navies to make the Baltic Sea safer. I'm especially pleased with how the team have remained adaptable to challenges posed by the equipment and the weather, working long days and even encountering a bear while we were. Driving through the Latvian countryside, said Lt. Malcolm Andrews, Zulu's operations officer, I hope that the success we have had on Baltops 24 has proved the utility of the innovative equipment and sees the Navy expand its expeditionary mine hunting capability into the future. Although we've not identified any mines, we have been able to designate large areas of seabed clear of any historic ordnance. Elsewhere, patrol boats HMS Archer, Ranger and Example were involved in exercises in the complex island chain of the Stockholm Archipelago, where Royal Marines have also been operating, some 30,000 islands, rocks and scary span out 50 miles from Sweden's capital into the Baltic and is the perfect place for the squadron to test and develop their coastal warfare tactics. The P-2000S were used as enemy, charged with harassing larger warships of the Swedish and Dutch navies in the confined waters.